plastic waste is wrecking our planet. But did you know that these mealworms can actually biodegrade plastic? It all starts with the enzymes that live in the worm. Enzymes are a type of protein that help break down or build things, speeding up processes that will usually take much longer in nature. But there's one problem with the enzymes in the worm. They aren't perfect. Enzymes can be slow and even break down under hot temperatures. Is there a way we can fix this? Enzyme engineering! Enzymes are made up of amino acids, and DNA holds genetic information. Specific sequences of DNA determine the amino acid sequence within our enzymes. You can imagine an amino acid sequence like your family, with each amino acid or Play-Doh ball in this case, representing your mom, dad, sister. They all live harmoniously together to make a functioning enzyme. But imagine you're at a family picnic, and there's that one cranky cousin who complains about the hot temperatures. That one cousin can ruin your family's picnic. And remember how I told you that enzymes aren't perfect either? Similar to that family picnic, a couple of sensitive amino acids can ruin or denature the entire enzyme under hot temperatures. So how can we fix this in the enzyme? By intentionally making mutations in the specific area of the DNA sequence, we also change the amino acid sequence to swap the bad amino acids out for one with better properties, improving the overall quality of the enzyme. This can make it more resistant to temperature change, work faster, and more. That site-directed mutagenesis, that's exactly how scientists are engineering enzymes to improve and enhance their catalytic abilities. So what does this mean? Remember, enzymes are involved in almost every aspect of our lives, from breaking down waste to even regulating cancer. By engineering these enzymes to make them better at what they're already doing, the possibilities of improving our lives are endless, including saving our planet from plastic pollution.